quick video of Trader Joe's. Hi, Mom. Um, hi, baby. I had to um, run out to Trader Joe's because I heard our Trader Joe's was having cotton, organic cotton candy grapes. And we love, love, love our cotton candy grapes. This is so good. It's, um, it tastes literally like cotton candy. So what I do is I'll get half of it, um, wash it out. It, we just leave it out into the counter. It's gone within a day. But then I'll get some and freeze it. Love, love uh, frozen grapes during the, during the summer. But it's really nice frozen too, and it's really nice just um, fresh out of the counter. Oh, cotton candy grapes. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we are really loving our fruits uh, this time of the year. So we got some uh, small honeydew. Also got um, buttered lettuce um, salad mix. And then also I got some tomatoes. This one is the uh sinfully sweet is it campari tomatoes they had a sample you know how it is at trader joe's when they have a sample um of the mozzarella cheese log and then um it just had basil and then um it had a little glaze to it <laughs> it's squishy she said why is this one so squishy it's the soft one so it's already pre-sliced for you um, this one is pretty new, vanilla flavored baton wafer. Jonathan wanted to give that a try. And then he also, he was with me, so he also got this um, as his treat. Danica wanted to get this one as her treat, uh, chocolatey cat's cookies. This one, hubby and I love this for our salads. Uh, we have been eating a, a lot more salads. And then I had to go to Trader Joe's because I needed to make a um, deli meat run. So I always get my deli meat over at Trader Joe's. Um, we are loving this peppered turkey breast. It goes by quick. Like, we'll go through this whole thing in about a day and a half. So I bought two this time. Uh, Jonathan's going to a um, party. So he is actually bringing these half moon cookies to share. Um, black and white, I think is what they're called also. Um, and then cheese for burgers. And then I also got more of the gourmet pepperoni. And then also we love this uh, with our, I have blocks of um, uh, Beecher's uh, flagship as well as the Kerrygold uh, cheese that I still have. And just a small, small haul. But of course, I always share with you guys what I get. All right, until next Trader Joe's haul. Mahalo. I just wanted to add in here a little bit. I have bought this basil from Trader Joe's, gosh, two months ago, maybe three. Um, it got a lot full, but what I do is I... Um, I trim it once um, like you count like up to five I think that's how uh, one of the nursery gals taught me it's like you count the the thing up to five and then trim it basically gave it a haircut uh, rather than just you know pinching it and then it didn't get as high anymore but it did get fuller and then it kept on coming in with uh, Mommy, new leaves uh, that, yes, I do, that was mine yep that was yours <laughs> It was small. It was small. And so, uh, you Trader... Want, it had a... You all had a cup. That's right. Yeah, it got bigger. So, I just keep watering. I just make sure that it gets watered every day because it's on my, um, bay window, kitchen bay Until window. Until we cut it with baby scissors. Yes. And then, um, she saw me cut it with a baby scissors. And then, every day, I just put water because it does dry up pretty quick. And I, then, there's that tomato. Want, and then, this one is pre-sliced. That's really good. And then, I use, um this Trader Joe's uh, balsamic, um, kind of like balsamic vinaigrette um, glaze. It's a perfect glaze uh, for it. Yes, ma All right, friends, another Trader Joe's haul. I did one last week or maybe less than a week ago. Um, I grabbed another two bags today. So just some quick, um, quick stuff that I needed. I'm trying to use up all the stuff I have into my pantry, my freezer. So I'm not trying to buy a whole bunch of um, like one big haul. Uh, just trying to basically get what I need for the next few days. All right. So just today we did grill up this one. Hubby had this, I think just like um, just last uh, haul that I did with you guys, which I'm going to combine with this one. Kids and him had it. I have not had it, but they said it was really, really good. Now, my son Jonathan said he loves it. He's very picky. He's like a meat carnivore, straight up cheese, um, hamburger, and steak, and grilled chicken kind of guy. But he liked the flavoring onto this one. They said it was really good. So, got another packet of that one. 
And this one I'm actually gonna cook up for their lunch tomorrow, Japanese fried rice. It used to be $2.99. I could have sworn it used to be $2.99, but today it was $3.29, so the price went up on that one. I got two bags of uh, mandarin orange chicken. I love this one. It is exactly almost to the T of uh, Panda Express orange chicken, so the family does love that. This is another favorite of mine. This is the white quinoa. I, I cooked this along with like the lime seasoning. So I thought that this would really go well with um, these chili burgers and not have the buns and just have the, the chicken along with that on the side kind of thing. So thought I'd try that. A lot of junk food today. I bought this one, the um, sliced French brioche. Um, is it brioche? brioche? Um, I figured tomorrow I have to go into the office. For work and then i wanted to make um the kids um uh what do you call that not grilled cheese what do you call that um toast the french toast so i'm gonna make the kids french toast tomorrow before i head off for work and then like i said i'm going to the office tomorrow i only go to my uh, work office company office once once a month so when i go there um i do have to bring my um like my snacks because I, I can't step out and do all the running around uh, within the time frame of when I need to get back to work. So I'm going to be bringing this. This is one of my favorite um, like nuts and um, berries and chocolate mixes at Trader Joe's. It's the straight up happy uh, trekking. Almonds, cashews, pistachios, chocolate, cranberries, and cherries. So I think it has a very good combination blend of just the nuts and the sweetness to it. Hubby wanted to pick this up, the toffee chips. We've never had this, so I don't know if he'll like it. And Hubby is on uh, Lazy Keto. I bought this before Trader Joe's. He did not. I thought he didn't care too much for it. It's very, very cheesy, so I didn't care too much for it. Um, but now that he's on keto, he wanted to go ahead and give that shot one more time. He also bought these uh, cheese sticks cheddar. Um, I don't know if it's for keto. 10 grams. For two sticks and then this one is going to be less than one um, gram of uh, carbs for half of a package so this is really not bad at all we got this one for the girls hubby used to love this one he no longer has these things into the morning but packing it for the girls these apples oh my gosh love love these apples so I bought some honey crisp apples these are huge right huge and the family loves those the kids loves those um, but I love this one. I have been drinking my um, semi-sweet wine um, every night for the past maybe two weeks now before I go to bed so that because I have a new work schedule, I have to get up um, in the morning for the kids for the school bus. That's like 5.45 in the morning. And then I go get ready and go straight to work onto my home office. But, um, but I, I'm a night person, so I've been drinking half a glass or a quarter of a glass of wine a night with my Beechers, oh my gosh, Beechers. It's a local um, cheese, um, the flagship. So good, it has that um, a bit of a sweetness to it and a bit of a crunch to it, along with these slices of apples. And sometimes I'll get even like the um, the baking chips, the, the uh, dark chocolate or semi-sweet uh, baking chips, and then I'll eat that along with it to the side. So, so good, okay. But this one is almost very similar in taste. The Honeycrisp and the Opal, very um, very similar in texture. This one I've had before, so this is, I'm going with my bae at work. Uh, uh, so we're packing each other lunches, so I wanna make sure that I have some sweetness. And then she said my, um, she's bringing food and my, um, my contribution was sweetness and snack. So I got this one, dark chocolate covered power berry. So real fruit juice, pieces made with acai or acia, pomegranate, cranberry, and blueberry juices and dipped in smooth dark chocolate. So this was really good. And then for Danielle, she does like these plantain chips that I'm going to go ahead and pack uh, for her lunch. So that I always pack an apple, a fruit for their um I also, for the kids, um, because she's in high school, I slice up the apple, put it into a container, and then I have her eat it um, in class or right before class or right after class. So to, um, she tends to have a tendency of during lunchtime going to classes so that she can get extra help or um, hanging out with friends. So I have her eat throughout the day so that she doesn't go hungry for her um, chair practice. And then this one, I love this. This is so perfect with um by itself or 
if you are eating something that needs rice i just get this and then i wrap it like um or bread um tuna fish sandwich instead of a tuna fish sandwich i'll make the tuna fish as is and then have this and then kind of have a little uh tuna fish uh snack with seaweed and that's it oh wait this one i got this one this one i have some um spicy hummus and i like to eat this plain as well i'm gonna go ahead and pack that for work tomorrow and then I wanted to try this one. This one looked like it was brand new, the mango and ginger crisp. I'm bringing this also along with this one for the hummus as well as for the like the cheese. So that's it, friends. A couple of new items today. This one is new for me. And then, of course, just the bread is new. And um, this one, new items. But I, I'm excited about this one. Mango and ginger. wonder how good that combination is. As always, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Till next haul, mahalo.